Yo, what's popping? I'm back with a look at the Chengdu Hunters after the kickoff clash and going into the midseason madness. So, if you like this video, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you are interested in the daily Overwatch League content I'm creating. And uh, comment down below how you think Chengdu is going to do, how you think they can improve, and uh, what you'd like to see from them, maybe. So, Chengdu Hunters, fifth in the standings in the East, two and four with a minus four map differential. In their first week, they go, they get three, they, they win three zero against the charge. Then they get three zero by the dynasty. Second week, they have to play four games, which is brutal. Four games in four days, that's rough. Uh, they lose to the Spark three one. They beat the Fusion three one. Then they lose to the Dragons three one, and they give the LA Valiant their first win in like two seasons or whatever it is, and they get three one by the Valiant. So this roster. They have Gaga and Daisy on tank with primarily Gaga playing. You have Jinmu leave on DPS and you have Nisha Monk on support. So their only sub they can make is their tank, right? And what we've seen is Gaga has kind of struggled compared to last season. There's been no ball gameplay, right? And that was what he excelled at. And his Winston's looked all right, at, but it's not been the same. It's not been on par with the other top APAC teams, specifically, uh, you know, Philly, Shanghai, and Seoul. It's been maybe on par with Gushue, who knows? Spark Winston has... We do not talk about the Spark Winston. So, not great from Gaia. You kind of expect a little bit more. And I expected Daisy to play a bit more. If you're going to pick Daisy over Aprita, it's just how these how Daisy's career is going to work this season is he's forever going to be tied to Aprita. Could Aprita have given this team more value than Daisy? Now that's That will just be the conversation... That is going to happen this entire season because they've made that choice. And it's obvious they've made that choice. So it's it's easy to talk about and it's easy to discuss. Has Daisy created that, like, you know, has he found that that extra gear to make this team better than Aprita would have? Right now the answer is no, in my opinion, because this whole team has you have Leave playing the soldier primarily, and you have he's an MVP level kit player, right? He had that, he won it. He's proved it. But now you're forcing your team to play around Jinmu. And Jinmu's great. He's a good player, but he's not someone you want to be guaranteed starting every map. Right? He is a great player, I, but he, sh he shouldn't be your main guy. And it's also forcing leave off of the flex DPS. It just does. Because they had to play the Soldier. Now, next stage, Soldier's getting nerfed. So, maybe... Uh, they can find a way to make it so that both Leave and Jinmu can play the characters they're best at. Because Leave is good at everything, right? He's a hyper flex player. But you want him to be able to play what he wants to play, what he can get the most value on, because he's that good. Right now, your team is building around Jinmu. He's, they're building around Jinmu, and I don't, I don't like it as much as letting Leave play what he needs to play, what he wants to play, you know? It's just not the answer. It's not the truth. And I have no problem with the support line, right? Nisha Monk, solid. But between forcing your team to play around Leave and Jinmu, it, and Jinmu, he had a really good performance against the Philly Fusion, helped them win against them. But he's very hit or miss, and mostly missed this season so far. I would, like He can be a, a hit, maybe. His Genshi looks good sometimes. It looks bad sometimes very inconsistent so i don't know i'd like to see chengdu maybe branch out of what they are calling the meta box right now you know uh find some some interesting things maybe they can get the ball going i don't know i don't know why they haven't at all philly brought it out for one time so uh, maybe it's okay maybe they've tried it and it just hasn't been good who knows but i would like them to see to try and like be a little different. That's what they're a team known for. They're known for being different. That's what the whole team was. I think it's time to, to go back to your roots here and not just try and spam what the meta is supposed to be, which might not even be the true meta. APAC was a little bit behind NA. What if what if NA is super behind the game and Ball is actually good? Who knows? Chengdu can find out. Chengdu could find out. The next stage, it might be easier. They might be able to play some Echo... Echo stuff, leave on Echo, Genmu on whatever else, Genji Echo, something. I'm not sure how it will work, right? But I would like to see some, some steps being made to not just be meta dudes. Because I don't think this team has the skill to match up pound for pound against the top 
three, four teams, right? Like, are you really matching up with the Soul Dynasty if Jinmu is your Tracer player? Going against a Prophet? Is that, is that what you're doing? I don't think so. I don't think so. Looking at next stage, of course, it's around Robin, but they play Soul Philly first week, Charge Valiant the next week. Watch out for that week. That's where they can pick up their wins. And then Shanghai Spark the last week. I do think 2-4 is a pretty realistic record for this team. I'm not sure if they'll beat Philly again, right? I'm not sure. I do think they'll beat Charge again, but I do. I think they'll find two wins. I'm just not sure where they're going to find them. I have a charge is a given, almost, right? But I'm not sure where else. I think they could find one on Valiant. I think they could find one on Shanghai if they don't fix their problems of being choke artists until they're not. And then, you know, Philly on an off day is very winnable. It, a lot of these matches will come down to who's playing, how good teams are playing on any given day. And... I think Chengdu will be pretty consistent. That's a lie. Jinmu is not consistent. It's just a lie. I think Chengdu can play all right. And if they catch a team on off, they'll find the win. But unless they make these changes of being a little bit different, probably being a little, a little more unpredictable, maybe. Or, I don't know. They, they, they just can't just mirror and play the meta comp. They just can't. That's, that's all. They have to find a way. Uh, I don't know if I trust this coaching staff to do it with Rui. We'll see. But anyway, that's going to be it for me. Uh, have yourself a good one and deuces.